And for those of you who could hear out on the ledge, the vocalization of those practices from, from the young to the, to the adults. So we do have a female, a very healthy female. And we'll actually put the USGS band on first. Paxton and Alyssa, good job, you guys. The, the name Zoom or Miracle would have worked both for, for a male or a female. But one thing we do um, like is that these, these birds are wild animals, so they're named with um, not people names, but names we, we ask for names that kind of signify what, what the bird does or is. So Zoom, they're very quick birds, right? Um. Let me read you the ID. It's 1947. Is this the one? Yeah, right here. Okay. 19. For those of you watching, four seven. Ray Quayler is a wildlife area technician seven four seven. at our Deer Creek Wildlife Area, right. and he's going to be helping record all the information that we then so submit in the relation to this bird. Just keep it out. If you can turn a little bit toward me. Yeah. For those of you who are keeping track, um, this bird is just about three weeks old. And at this size, their legs are actually um, grown almost to their, to their maximum. So we know that this band that's, that's right over going right over uh, the leg is um, the, the appropriate size. And we know that it's not going to get too tight. It's also important that it's not too loose so it doesn't shake around um, or cause problems. Zoom is a very vocal bird. <laughs> Right, right. It's, it is very important to note that, that that band is not clamped on. It's not hurting it. Um, this is just a reaction of being brought into a building from the area that you've known your whole life and, and taking a few minutes to get identified. So just chatting it up. <laughs> so what's going to happen here is Paxton is going to come in. And he's going to help actually, um, there are rivets on those bands. Um, as you can imagine, we don't want those bands to fall off. So they're actually riveted on. So Paxton is going to actually help um, uh, clamp that rivet onto this band. Band is Let it all the way up and go ahead and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's going to go out. Pop. There you go. Oh, very job. Good job, Paxton. So Paxton has successfully put the rivet into that band. You're going to help me with And that. Alyssa is going to come and help put the other rivet into the band. So we have right, our three leg bands are almost Go ahead. completely put on. Awesome. Great job. Beautiful. Some of you might wonder why um, we banned these birds. We banned them, um, and, and we get a lot of questions about banding. We banned them to help biologists track the movement. Um, we talked a little bit earlier about uh, knowing where these birds go. 
um, these birds at one time were, were not found in Ohio. Um, so through successful hacking programs, which is rearing young um, in different locations, we've, and, and tracking where they go and, and their success rate, we've been able to successfully reintroduce and, and have peregrine falcons throughout the state of Ohio. Um, so there are a lot of nests in the state. Jenny is the statewide mm -hmm. coordinator. Um, so how, how many nests do we have in we Ohio? We have 26 that have um, laid eggs this year. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, we have quite a few other boxes. We have about 60 boxes. So we have some unoccupied uh, territories out there mm -hmm. still. And for those of you watching right now, Zoom is after, after her um, banding. Uh, we want her to kind of calm down and, and we're reducing stress right now by making sure that, that she stays um, in a, a, a nice dark place where she can kind of regroup just a little bit. Um, we do that for her health and safety. We also, um, we will bring her around and let people take pictures, but it's really important to note that um, only Division of Wildlife Biologists will be handling um, Zoom. So again, we are, th this is uh, very important that we take her um, welfare into consideration. So and we, we do band at a lot of different sites. We band at 10 sites throughout Ohio. Mm -hmm. okay. And the reason why we're so protective of this species, it was once an endangered species. Mm -hmm. um, and in 1999, it was taken off the federal uh, list. And in 2008, we here in the state of Ohio downlisted it from endangered to threatened, and the species is now threatened. Right. Um, but it's a great success story, but we are very protective of the bird. Well, um, do you think it's better, you want me to stay in one place? Yeah. And have people I, come around? Yeah, I think that's great. That way I can stay yeah, I think that's perfect. I'm going to maybe clean this up a little bit. Are you guys ready to? Yeah, so we, we? we can um, maybe take a couple pictures. Um, if folks want pictures. Um, we're going to kind of limit our time because we don't want to stress the bird out too much. Okay. So our next step, since we've got this bird banded, um, we, she's got her own numbers uh, associated with her, her own band. Um, we are going to take just a few minutes. A lot of you came out. Um, there are people here in the room with us today. So we will let some people take pictures um, with the bird. Again, we, uh, Donna Daniel, who's the site manager here, she'll be handling the bird. Um, but people can come and take their pictures. <laughs> Sure. Um, the easiest thing to do rather than me walking around with the bird. So, you want to the bird? Oh, okay. 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 Okay.